We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings take on Conference Full Manitowoc. Hello everybody, alongside the coach Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin. Uh, Chris, scoring is not going to be a big thing tonight I don't think. Uh, Manitowoc's high score is only averaging 7 a game. South's high score is averaging a little under 10. Uh, what do you think is going to happen tonight in terms of the pace of the game? Well, this is one of those games that's probably, a, you know, where you are uh, on in the conference a little bit. You know, both teams trying to move to the upper level a little bit, but I think both teams are a little bit of a mystery. You've lost two of the leading scores from Sheboygan South last year and five starters from Manitowoc, so these are all a bunch of new young kids. They haven't played a lot of games yet, so I still think they're, you know, the coaching staffs are trying to figure out who, what they got. I had, an inter I had a chance to interview Mike Rank, and one of the things I said was at least Tim Schultz left you put players with a lot of experience. I would think that would play into South Sands tonight because they do have more experience than Manitowoc. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good point. You got uh, Connor Harrison and TJ Pitch and uh, Jared Recolites coming up, but Connor Harrison too. He's, we've been waiting for Connor Harrison for the last couple of years. He's supposed to have, you know, big, big years and stuff like that. So. There are players out there, and I looked on the raw, you know, the scoring thing for Sheboygan South, and every kid has scored back some points this year. They're all averaging like two points a game. Now, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. You know, you, most teams just go with seven or eight guys in a rotation, but you look on there, and they have 16 on the roster, and I think all 16 have scored. I noticed that too when I was looking up the information. By the way, I got all my information together, printed it out, and it's still sitting in the printer. <laughs> Uh, let's talk a little bit about Manitowoc. Uh, they come in, uh, no, they lost all five starters last year, and when I looked down the roster at the heights, they don't have anybody very tall either. No, and they used to be kind of big and rugged inside, and they've kind of lost that a little bit. And Not to diss Manitowoc Lincoln, but, but they might be the third best team in the whole city this year. You got Manitowoc Roncalli, which is ranked number two. They just lost to Vincent the other night. Mantua, uh, Link, Lutheran, Lutheran, yeah, they lost to Two Rivers by seven. These guys lost to them by 10. So we might be looking at the third best team in Mantua, and for Lincoln, that's a little bit of a disappointment. So Coach Gallagher's got a, a rebuilding thing going on there. Austin Mecca, who he seems like has been playing over there for about 10 years, he's gone. And it, it, like I said, I think he's looking for what he's got too. Now, I lost my train of thought here for a second. Uh, Manitowoc does not have many high scores. I think their leading score is averaging only seven points a game. They need to find somebody that can score. And I kind of think the same thing about South, even though they got a kid that's averaging 9.7, that's still not enough. That's kind of weird, Mike, because I was thinking the same thing this afternoon. Who's going to be the go-to guy for Sheboygan South? Is it going to be Zietz? Is it going to be Harrison? Uh, is it going to be Recolitis? You know, is it going to... I was looking at the different leading scores for every game. Every game is different. Is it going to be pitch? Who are their guys? Or are they just going to be a bunch of balanced guys? But right now, their balance isn't very high. So I, I was thinking like you did today, uh, Marty, and wondering who's really going to take charge for the Sheboygan South game and team. It is early in the season. They do have a win under the belt. They did lose a tough one to the pier. Both teams already played the pier already, which is doesn't help anybody, but uh, <laughs> playing that good well, team. Well, I think you can draw some comparisons because South lost to them by, I think, uh, 21 points. It was 64 to 43, but Manitowoc only managed 25 points against those guys. They got beat by 50-some uh, points, and it was, you know, I looked at the quarter-by-quarter -quarter score, and they're really tough, so interested to see what Coach Rank brings to the table this year, and in the future, he's, he's Brought the hometown guy back to his, his alma mater, and he, he gets the can chance to coach his team. And sometimes that's a big dream for kids. And I think Coach Rank wants to take advantage of it. And you said he's started some new things here. So let's see if we get out on good foot, and let's get an interview tonight. Yeah, really, Chris wants to do one. We haven't had one in quite a while. We're going to step out, and when we come back, we'll have Mike Rank. Get ready to be amazed when you visit Making Spirits Bright at Evergreen Park in Sheboygan. The Icicle Tunnel, Dancing Forest, and Racing Arches are just a taste of what is waiting for you. Making Spirits Bright is open November 29th through December 28th, except Christmas Eve, from 5 to 9 p.m. each night. Make sure to also visit Funland in the Quarry View Center for refreshments, a visit with Santa, and more. Admission is free, and food pantry donations are appreciated. I believe in nature. I believe in the spirit. I believe in trust. Beauty. I 
believe in my mom. Strawberry ice cream. Fortune cookies. Chocolate. I believe in the tooth fairy. Being honest with yourself. I believe in Santa Claus. Aliens, of course. I believe what I want to believe. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in peace. Joining me is Mike Rank, new head coach at Sheboygan South. Now, Mike, this isn't your first go-around. You coached out at uh, Random Lake. How did that experience help you with uh, coaching here at South? Well, I tell you one thing, it uh, definitely humbled me going against some really good coaches in that conference, uh, from Kevin Bruking to Todd Decker to the late Chris Schrader. Um, you know, every coach in that conference, uh, Co uh, Coach Flipsy, um, Isaiah, uh, Ketterhagen, I mean, the list goes on. There's some really good coaching in that conference. So for me personally, you know, how many years ago now, uh, definitely humbled me. I thought I could come in there and turn things around real quick. And, and I think it really prepared me because uh, I really had to do a lot of things by myself. So. All right, great. Now, you're coming in here to South and uh, not a very good record last year and uh, parents not very happy with uh, Tim Schultz. Uh, what do you need to do to get the program turned around? Yeah, it's, it's, you know, and, and I think it's no secret what, what was going on last year. It's kind of a uh, real tough situation for, for Colt Schultz. And, and uh, really, I think since I've taken over in May, there's been a 180 degree turn on what we've done. I mean, trying to, just trying to spark excitement, new uniforms, new warm ups, new ways of that. We're just doing things. I mean, everything that we're doing is new, different. I mean, we enter the gym a different area. We practice differently, new system. So everything's just trying to be new, fresh, uh, and, and, that, and I think it's, it's really carrying on right now. Now, Tim did leave you with players with a lot of experience because he played a lot of guys. What's your uh, philosophy on playing a lot of guys? And uh, I know you've got a lot of guys, like I said, that are experienced. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, one thing that that I've mentioned to the boys and, and even in my parent meetings is that, you know, we, we've only won, you know, had three winning seasons here in 10 years. So it's not like we're coming into a situation where, you know, I'm just kind of taking over the reins where it's been a totally rebuild. And, uh, you know, anything that really happened from last year, we're not even bringing up in the years before. It's all about being new, fresh. And I think that gives the kids an opportunity to just kind of reestablish themselves as, as players and people. You mentioned that uh, things are new. Uh, one of the things you're changing, obviously, is the style of play. Uh, tell our fans what's going to be, what are they going to see different tonight? Yeah, well, I think, you know, I one thing I think Coach Schultz did an incredible job was no one will ever question his, his offense and his ability to get kids to push the ball. We're going to still try to push the ball, and I, I always tell people, hey, that's one thing I really don't have to worry about. Um, but defensively, really kind of going back to some basics on um, – how to win basketball games, and that's limiting our turnovers, sharing the sugar, sharing the ball, and, uh, and playing tough half-court defense and rebounding. And I'd say about 80% of our practices have been on defense and rebounding. So, now If I remember you as a player, you like to shoot long ones. I mean, yeah. real long. <laughs> yeah. Do you got any players this year that are going to shoot the long ones? Yeah, and, yeah. and have you been coaching them on that? Yeah. Well, you know, one thing with, with us, too, it's, you know, we um, – the kids know for me, they it's a green light. Everyone's got a green light. Don't play tight for me. But you play within your role. And, and I think you're going to see the guys that can shoot them, they will. The guys that won't, they know in practice pretty quick whether or not they can do that or not. But you never know. You may see a, a Recolitis or a McLaughlin uh, or a Teshlug shoot a three every now and then. I'm not going to limit them on that way. But if they if they miss one or two, it's, it's, it's done. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, Coach, and good luck tonight. All right. Thanks a lot. Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, a U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Cat boots only, guys. Not your seat. Sometimes you gotta live what you believe up and you're wrong. Cause that's where it's from. Right here with you and with me. But no world is love. Generosity. Pass.
Pass it on. A little help from up above. To me. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Fine rendition of the uh, national anthem from that uh, young South High student. We're going to listen as Sim Safford goes through uh, the starting lineups for uh, Manitowoc and South. Starting lineups. First, for the Manitowoc, Lincoln Ships. Senior number three, Preston Allman. Senior number 12, Trevor Terp. Junior number 22, Austin Braun. Freshman number 23, TJ Schneider. Senior number 42, Ben Coles. Head coach for the Manitowoc, Lincoln Ships. Brian Gallagher. And now, your starting lineups for your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. 5'10", junior number three, two, Jay Pitch. 6'1", junior number 21, Connor Harrison. 6'1", senior number 32, Carter Amundsen. 5'9", senior number 33, Eric Tetzlog. And 6'4", junior number 34, Jared Rick Leitis. Head coach for the Red Wings, Michael Rank. There you see Coach Mike Rank behind him, his assistant. Peter Kautzer, Jake Schwartz. Referees Managers for tonight's for tonight, game are Eddie Todd Van Ess and Tom Hunick. There are a couple of real good ones, Chris. A lot of experience with those two officials. Why, is that because we just seen them a lot, or? Well, that too. <laughs> Over the last how many years we've seen them a lot. Matt Horzen here doing a little scouting for the north side, running the camera. Van S is going to do the uh, toss. South controls. You know, they changed the numbers on me here, Chris. What a shock, huh? Yeah, really, it's not the way it is on the program. Amundsen with a good save. Gets it over to Harrison. Kick out pass, shot is off, no good. Rebound to Reclitis, his shot is off. Manitowoc comes away with the rebound, that was TJ Schneider. TJ Schneider, a freshman, and he is like a rail out there, number 23. South working the man-to-man -man defense. 
Manitowoc trying to get an open look. They're finding it uh, quite difficult to do that. Ullman is one of the guys you gotta be careful for. He's number three. Also Terp, one of the seniors on the team this year. Terp don't look no comfortable carrying the basketball though. Recolitis with a good job of moving the feet to cut off the baseline. Man and a half in, Marty. One yeah, what only do we got? one two shot. Shots? Yeah. Or do we got two shots? Two shots, two misses for South, none right. for Mantwalk. Little backdoor screen and Ullman puts it up and in. Wow. Shot is off, no good. Rebound for South goes to uh, Eric Tetschlag. Manitowoc playing the tough D also, Chris. Rolling down to the uh, 5.30 mark of the first quarter. It's two to nothing, Manitowoc. Pitch trying to hunt down the shot, but having it very difficult. A kick out pass, the three point attempt is off, no good. Reclitis with the uh, tap is no good. Terp has it on the wing. Wide open jump shot from right in front of the basket is missed by uh, Ben Coles. Ben Coles plays baseball and football. Remember him this fall? All around athlete sounds like to me. Yep. Well, Sam Selk kind of the same way, Connor Harrison. Whoa, almost taking a shot to the head was, uh, and then stealing it was Harrison. He was the one that almost got hit. Now we get a whistle and a foul. It's gonna go on Ullman, number three. Three new uh, Red Wings in. Parker Slimmer, Cody McLaughlin, he played some football. Sam Selk in. Another big body inside that uh, makes South pretty big out there. A push on the shot, no call. Manitowoc gets the rebound. South has not scored yet. And a bumping foul. No, they're gonna get an offensive wow. foul on Terp. Surprise me too, Chris. Couple of subs come in for uh, Manitowoc. Still two to nothing, almost halfway through the first quarter. Parker Slimmer had it, but uh, couldn't get the pass off that he wanted inside. Recolitis gets it down deep. Kick out, jump shot, won't roll in. Good shot taken there by Selk, but he couldn't get it. Another shot missed, that one by uh, Pitch. And South is still scoreless. Manitowoc working the perimeter. Ullman with the long shot, can't get it. And uh, we're gonna get an offensive foul on uh, South. 
TJ Pitch picks up the foul. Well, he was getting hounded pretty good, Chris. I'm surprised they didn't call it on Ullman. Yep. Kavanaugh being guarded tightly. Inside feed, reverse layup attempt is no good. Reclitis with the rebound. Selk gets it inside. Well, they work in the perimeter. Slimmer has it. Inside to McLaughlin who makes a nice feed to his teammate Selk, but he couldn't get the layup to go. 2.30 left, still two to nothing. South with a tip away, but uh, Manitowoc comes up with it. Three point attempt is no good. And South with the rebound. South all for their first seven, Marty. Wow. They're having trouble finding the bottom of the... Both teams are. Yeah, right. McLaughlin has it on top, looking for an open player. Pitch had it on top. And he scores. TJ Pitch on the drive down the baseline, gets it up and in. And finally, Kavanaugh picks up the foul. That's the third team foul on Manitowoc. Puts it in. South on top, three to two. 141 left. Tristan Schmidt in the ball game. Little pressure, very good idea. I think Mantlock's gonna struggle with this. Leap and leaner is no good. That shot by Slimmer. Ball tipped around, Manitowoc comes away with it. Allman going hard to the hoop. Puts it up, no good, but he's fouled. Cody McLaughlin picks up the foul. Allman shooting two, puts in the first one. A lot of substitutes coming in for Manitowoc. Ullman has all the points for Manitowoc. All three? Yeah. He's their high score. Minute 22. Left in the first. It's been a slow mover in terms of making baskets. They're saying it didn't count. Really? Oh, I don't know. My. Yes, they did make it. The scoreboard didn't put it up right away. Sorry. Oh, a foul. Latour picks up the foul and uh, Selk will be at the line shooting. Nothing but the bottom of the net for uh, Sam. We're all tied at four. You've been able to keep up with the scoring here, Chris? Yep. And a crawler wouldn't go in. Oh boy. And then uh, 
The Manitowoc player in an attempt to save the ball traveled, so South will get it back. All tied up, four to four. Inside feed to McLaughlin, good fake. He puts it up and couldn't get it. They're gonna say he was fouled on the floor. So it wouldn't have countered anyway. Gronkowski picks up the foul. Fifth team foul already on Manitowoc. Schmidt had it for a second, then the pass is Aaron trying to get it in and on the cutting South High player, but it was intercepted by the ships. 40 seconds left in the first, tied up at four. Turnaround jumper is up and in. Nice looking shot by Rohrer. And a turnover. And they're gonna get an offensive foul on Terp. That's gonna be his second. Twenty five point nine seconds left. Manitowoc on top six to four. Coach Gallagher uh, complaining about the call. Extended conversation on that uh, play. Under 20 seconds. Drive to the middle, and we're gonna get an offensive foul on uh, South High's Connor Harrison. Fifth turnover on South. Yeah, it's a lot, Chris, especially when you think about the pace of the game. 14.2 seconds left. Manitowoc with uh, plenty of time. Good double team. Ullman can't see behind him. He had a guy wide open, a long three-pointer. No good. And the three-pointer bounces off. Good attempt by Sam Selk, but he couldn't get it to go. And we're at the end of one quarter of play. Manitowoc on top, six to four. Take 10 seconds to imagine the face of your best friend, your coworker, your classmate, your hero, the face of a veteran, a senior on a fixed income. Now, I want you to imagine them without a home. More than two million people in America rely on public housing to provide a home for their families. And there are at least a half a million waiting for a safe place to live. I'm Jewel, and I'd like you to join me and rethink how public housing is supporting your community. Back at South High, and there you see Mike Rank talking to the troops. Boy, oh boy, Chris, you know, we talked about this in the opening about the lack of scoring, but uh, we didn't think it was going to rise to this level. Holy cow. Well, 10% shooting for no South and 20% for Manitowoc, and uh, right now it... Uh, <laughs> Like I said, still feeling her way. And uh, one thing I don't see is Tyler Zeitz. Yeah, I was wondering the same thing. What's, he's uh, what's sick up with or, that? Uh, he's the leading scorer for Sheboygan South. There's Carter Robinson with a big steal. South comes away with it. Fifth turnover on Manitowoc, too. They have not shown... Uh, to have real good ball handlers. Uh, good feed inside, Reclitis caught it a little bit deep, couldn't get it in, and then we get a foul on South High's Eric Tetschlag. And the shooting woes continue for South. The good thing is they're playing Manitowoc, who is just as poor. Yeah. 
Sull still in the man-to-man -man defense. Manitowoc having trouble getting uh, good looks, and now we get a whistle. There's Zietz. Powell's going to go on Zietz. First time I've seen him. Yeah, I don't think he played in the first quarter, Chris. Makes you wonder if there was a reason for that. Ullman open from three-point land. His shot goes short, but he's able to get the loose ball. Inside feed. Layup is up and good by Manitowoc's Derek Rohrer. And that's his uh, second basket. Eight to four, Manitowoc on top. His second bat basket matches the baskets for South. Tetchlog looking, spins Traveled. to the outside. And no shot, travel first. Tetchlog looked to have pretty good position inside, but uh, shuffle the feet. Turp back in, Chris, with his uh, three fouls. Three fouls? Wow. Who do they got with three? Waiting, waiting. Waiting on the board. I can't Two right. fouls. Back, Back door, door cut. Travel. And we're going to get a foul on uh, South High's Tyler Zietz. Well, the fouls match the total points. Six each. Turp shooting a pair. Slimmer back in the game for the Red Wings. One for two trip makes it nine to four. Ketchlog uh, had his back turned to the basket. Uh, he had a teammate, Slimmer, cutting back door, but never saw him. Pitch on a good cut through the lane. They missed him. If you caught our interview with uh, Mike Rank, he said they wanted to try and run, but uh, Manitowoc's done a good job of getting back on defense and uh, even a better job on their half-court defense. Inside feed to Reclitis. Step through a shot is blocked, but then we get a whistle. Ball's gonna go on Roar. Well, the ships did a nice job on Reclitis there, diving three guys in there. Reclitis did a nice drop step. Actually, that foul, Chris, is going on Schneider. Reclitis is shooting a pair. South played 10 guys, Mantwalks played 10 guys. We've only played 10 minutes of action. Yeah, this is amazing. Reclitis pours in a pair. Manitowoc has it, Ullman. Being guarded closely by pitch. Freshman. Spin move. Shot is up and in, but no basket. Called for the travel. Nine to six, Manitowoc over South. Five and a half minutes left. Second quarter. Almost a steal. South looking to score some points. They only have six. 
Shot is no good. Another uh, pretty good look at the basket, Chris, but they can't get anything to go in. Oh, there's a foul. Yep. Getting a foul on that is going to be Tristan Schmidt going to the line for Manitowoc is going to be their freshman, T.J. Schneider. He'll be shooting three. Free throw attempt is up, and that one rolls in. They only gave him two, Chris. Must have been an inside or his foot on the line. Slimmer looking for an opening, couldn't find it. Schmidt has it on top. Amundsen on a backdoor cut, has the ball down deep, but kicks it out. Looked like he might have had a shot. Nice spin move by Tristan Schmidt, and again, a shot right around the basket doesn't go down. Manitowoc has it, and they have the lead, 10 to six. Ullman trying to get to the hoop, but uh, Pitch playing the tough defense, but gets called for the foul. Bonus time. Yep, that's what I have. Two on uh, Pitch now. Pitch the second leading scorer. Preston Ullman will be shooting a free throw for sure. Maybe two. Ullman, he looks awfully young. He's a He's senior. He's a senior. <laughs> Kerry Coutzer, our director tonight. Richard Bartson and uh, Eric Wiesman on camera. And we have some South High students helping out. Reclitis with a great feed from Schmidt, puts it up and in, and he's fouled. Well, very simple situation there. Schmidt broke down the coverage, got into the lane. Other players had to step up. Providing an easy bounce pass to Recolitis. Chance to get a three point will play the old fashioned way. Yep, and draw to a one point deficit, and he does. Free throw crawls in. Hopefully, that's a good omen, Chris, that some of the shots will start dropping. <laughs> Throwing it out of bounds for Manitowoc was Tyler Thyers. Looked like they had a good shot at an easy layup, Chris, till they uh, threw that pass out of bounds. They have seven turnovers all by different people, so That's they got a good balance. Spreading the wealth, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Under four minutes left in the half, south down, 10 to nine. Reclitis hands it off to Selk, his shot is no good. Tristan Schmidt comes away with the loose ball, he wants uh, well, we get a timeout by South, a full timeout. So with uh, South trailing by one, we'll take a break. Timeout. The environment is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I start to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com. Back at South High School there, you see the uh, South Huddle, Coach Mike Rank talking to the two troops. One of the things that Mike had mentioned in the uh, in that opening interview was he wanted to try and run the ball, and you know, there hasn't been any running at all. I mean, is, is Manitowoc playing that good a defense? Well, and I, I don't know about that either. It's 
I don't know, it's difficult to figure out who's running the show even for South, because <laughs> they got guys running in and out, and uh, this is about the longest set, this group of five here that's been in. They've been making a run, so keep them in. Three thirty-five left in the half. Reclitis wide open inside, makes a nice move, can't get it to go. Forces another shot up that's no good. Looked like Schmidt tipped it out. Boy, Reclitis is having some nice shots inside, but he's not putting them in. Yeah, he's one for five, Marty. That's uh, nothing outside of 10 feet either. Well, that's about what the team's shooting, 20%. Good help defense underneath for Manitowoc to keep uh, Jared from getting the pass inside. Schmidt looking to go to the middle, kicks it out. Long three-pointer is up and good by Parker Slimmer. And a lead. 12 to 10. And a travel. The pressure is getting to Manitowoc. The Easily. second turnover that uh, the Red Wings have caused with their press. Easily the right way to attack Manitowoc is to press all over. They can't handle this pressure. You know, and, and they had that same trouble last year, Chris, uh, with that senior yep. group. Yep, they had a lot of size last year, but no one helped the big boys out, and it hasn't improved I over the year. Uh, Mecca's playing D2 basketball. Schultz had his shot blocked, and then uh, South can't save it. Manitowoc's going to get it. Schultz, the 11th player into the game for South. A good job of breaking the press there. And a feed inside. The basket by Coles is up and in, and he's fouled. Schultz officially in the scorebook with that foul. We're all tied up with uh, 2.16 left in the half. Schultz couldn't get it. Uh, pardon me, Coles couldn't get it in. Tristan Schmidt, jumper outside the line. Bango! Tristan Schmidt. T.J. Schneider off the glass and in. We have pace, Marty, we have pace. Really, I can't keep up. Schmidt with a good job of not forcing the shot. South keeps the possession, 140 left in the, in the first half. Selk looked like he was wide open, but no pass inside. South shooting 17% in the game and they lead. Tristan Schmidt with a drive to the hoop and a basket. Almost stolen away. And it is. And then we get a whistle. Tristan Schmidt been the igniter here. Ron Krauski uh, picks up the foul for Manitowoc. Tristan Schmidt will be shooting the uh, one and one. South up 17 to 14. As soon as the pace quickened, Chris Manitowoc couldn't keep up. Schmidt leading all scorers with six points. Nine turnovers now on Manitowoc. That free throw makes it a uh, 19 to 14 score, south up by five. 
Schmidt putting a lot of pressure on the uh, Manitowoc ball handler. And then uh, Slimmer loses the ball out of bounds. Surprised there was no foul called. I don't know why South didn't come out with the press right away. Oh, well, they tip it away again. Schmidt has it, kicks it over to uh, his teammate Self, but uh, there was a whistle beforehand. Ullman picks up the foul. Schmidt will be on the line again for the Red Wings. Came in into the game averaging four points. He's gonna double it right here. The average with eight, right? He's got eight points on the night. Uh, for an average, I don't think he was up to eight points, was he, Chris? No, four. He four, four points I said a game. He doubled his. He's got all the points in a quarter, too, Marty, correct? Yep. No. Slimmer had a three. Schmidt missed a free throw. And then he gets the rebound and puts it up and in. 22 to 14. Shot is off. Schmidt with the rebound. He's a one-man band here in the second quarter. Under 40 seconds left in the half. South up eight. Uh, another timeout by uh, South. Second timeout for South. It's a 30 already. second timeout, so we better keep it here, Kerry. Well, once the pace picked up, Marty, like you asked. I didn't ask, I just told you. <laughs> <laughs> it's all been good for the team. Actually, we were both up here hoping it would get a little more pace to the game because it was pretty slow. That wasn't even uh, Dick Bennett defense. It was just bad offense. South had a lot of shots in near the basket, Chris, and if they could have just got a small portion of those to go, they'd have a double-digit lead. Yeah, they're shooting 24% now, led by Schmitz. He's three of four on the night. 10 Schmidt points all in the quarter and he Almost walked. loses his balance and uh, coach, uh, pardon me, coach, uh, I'll get it right yet. Referee Todd Van S caught him with a travel. 25 seconds left in the half. See if Manitowoc can hang on to it. No, they can't. Schmidt. Puts the head down, off the glass, rims out. Tough break. Boy, oh boy. Ullman, 10 footer, no good. Rebound by McLaughlin. High pass goes off, a Jeez. slimmer Gee out of bounds. And a Manitowoc player is down. Maggie Bauer, the trainer for tonight's game, comes out to take a look at him. And uh, Brian Gallagher, there you can see, is coming out to uh, see what's up. Mantwalk shooting 25%, Marty, but they've only got six shot attempts here in a quarter. Because they keep turning it over. Yeah, that's amazing. Seven turnovers in the quarter for the ships. Hey, Kerry, is there any uh, chance of maybe taking a look at uh, replay, see what happened to that young man? Looks like he tipped an ankle. And he's not putting any weight on it. No, Trevor Turp is the uh, young man. That's not uh, Coach Gallagher either. I think that's Nathan Catterbeck.
0.3 seconds left. Okay, they're saying the ball was tipped. Tetchla got it. No shot attempt, and we're finally at halftime with South making a nice run here in the second quarter. They lead it by eight, 22 to 14, and Chris is just bubbling all over. He's waiting for that interview. American Field. Hoy en día, muchos hombres tienen una enfermedad, pero la mayoría no sabe cómo se llama. Es una enfermedad tratable que atormenta tanto a los hombres como a sus familias. Pero muchos hombres nunca obtienen tratamiento. ¿Cómo se llama? Depresión. Si usted o un familiar tiene síntomas de la depresión, no se avergüence de hablar de ello. Llame al número que aparece abajo y vaya al médico. La vida que salve puede ser la suya. Let's hear it from South High's dance team. That's why they have a job to do out here today. Coach by to be Carl. a winning team, you have to work like a winning team. My team depends on me. And my team is 50,000 strong. Looks like a lot of work's going into this. This is what it feels like to be part of a team. A winning team. The action team. Get in on the action. 
action at actionteam.org. Are you in? You always made sure I brushed my teeth. You told me that smart was cool. You always told me to dream big. To all of those parents who took the time to make raising their children their most important job, we'd like to say thank you. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart, thanks, Mom and Dad. This message is brought to you by the U.S. Air Force. from the Foundation for a Better Life. Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best. A team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe because our nation expects more. If you expect more, maybe you Getting ready to start the second half action. Both teams warming out up, warming up out on the floor. Let's go through the scoring. Preston Ullman for uh, Manitowoc had four points. Trevor Turp had one. T.J. Schneider, the uh, good-looking freshman, had three. Derek Rohr had four, and Ben Coles had uh, two points. No scoring from the substitutes on uh, Manitowoc side. For uh, South, Pitch had three, Slimmer had three, Selk had one, Tristan Schmidt came in, had just a fantastic second quarter, uh, picking up loose balls, making some steals, doing it all really, had 10 points. Jared Reclitis had five, he could have probably had an easy 10 if he'd have made some easy shots. Uh, scoring by quarters, both teams in the first quarter had 10 points. In the second quarter, South managed 18 points to uh, Manitowoc's eight, so that totals out to uh, 26. A little more reasonable in the second quarter, Chris. Manitowoc's shooting 31%, South 20, and they're down by eight. The problem was turnovers and second opportunities for South, too. They're getting a bunch of offensive rebounds. Uh, I unofficially have them for five offensive rebounds, which provides extra shots. On the other side, Manitowoc only gets one offensive rebound, so South is keeping them off the glass. South has it coming out of the break. And a uh, little surprise, Chris, that Schmidt isn't starting, but... Uh, well, these five guys didn't uh, play very much, I'll say that. I know they're the starters, but they're not the ones that won that Got second the lead. quarter, yep. Uh, tapped out of bounds. Actually, they're saying Connor Harrison lost it out of bounds. Manitowoc will have it. Harrison with no shot attempts. Amundsen playing the tight D on Ullman. And a five second count.
Let's start over. <laughs> South coming out. South working the double post there for just a second. Pass to Amundsen, his layup attempt is no good. Coles with the rebound for the ships. Little pick and roll action to Coles. He's looking inside. Reclitis won't give him any room, so he had to pass it out. Schneider, spin move. Jump shot in the lane is no good. Kick out down to a pitch. Pitch trying to go around Allman, and uh, Allman gets called for the foul. That's going to be his third. Oh, they only got it for his second, Chris. We'll rub that off. Pitch from three, nails it. Nothing but the bottom of the net on that shot. He was one of four in the first quarter, I believe. Almost lost oh. out of bounds. Good save that time by Manitowoc's Austin Braun. Oh, of three in the first quarter, I'm sorry. Pitch trying for the steal, couldn't quite get it. Kick out, long shot attempt is no good. Reclitis with the strong rebound. Pitch open from three-point land, couldn't get it to go. Tipped away from uh, Schneider. McLaughlin inside, no good. Harrison was over the back, no call. Good deal for South. Manitowoc has it back. Five thirty left in the third. South up eleven. And McLaughlin got away with a good push and a turnover by Schneider. McLaughlin loads it up from three-point land. Couldn't get it to go. Manitowoc comes away with it, Andy Cavanaugh. Allman, oh, there's something wrong with that basket, Chris. Manitowoc's gonna have the same trouble. The ball was halfway down and popped out. Pitch from the other side, no good. Reclitis, spin move, half hook is no good. Braun with the rebound for Manitowoc. And we get a timeout. That one's gonna go to Manitowoc. 30 second timeout carry, so we better keep it here. Full timeout. Full timeout. They changed it on us. Kerry, if you want to go to a break, go ahead. Otherwise, Chris can't wait to talk some more. <laughs> there you see Mike Rank. Jamie Berlin uh, trying to block off our camera view, and he's doing a heck of a job of it, too. He's a big guy. You know, Chris, I think we ought to get a level and. Uh, See if the floor is level because I think everything on that basket to our right, the ball doesn't want to go in. Well, South's one of seven in this quarter on this end, so maybe it's both ends. <laughs> maybe it has nothing to do with the level of the floor. South at 18%. Helping out up here on camera was uh, South High student Jonathan Miller. Good job by him. You couldn't even tell when we made the change. Jonathan did such a bang up job. Scott Mailoff, one of our directors, is uh, Jonathan's uh, media teacher. Is that right, John? Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say 18% shooting for South and they're up by 11. Ooh, that's not even a good batting average. <laughs> Manitowoc has it. Tristan Schmidt back in the game. He had uh, 
One nice second quarter there, Chris. So at all trying 10 their points. one three one here, Marty. Cole's had it tipped away. That ball was tipped by South. Manitowoc will keep it. Not a bad idea trying to use some of the speed of the South players. Or Manitowoc is slow with the ball on their rotation, so the one three one should yeah, work. Yeah, they've they really struggle with their uh ball handling, which would, of course would include the passing asset aspect. Schmidt, Selk, Amundsen, Reclitis, and Pitch on the floor for the Red Wings. Whoop. Uh, how can that not well, be over and back? Well, it was knocked by South. That was, a, I thought, was a good no call, actually. Kavanaugh gets it over to the uh, shooting Ullman who can't get it in. And then we get an over the back foul on uh, Austin Braun. Tyler Zietz in for Amundsen. Matt walked down to 20% shooting. Jeez. 13 turnovers. Tyler Thiers comes in for the uh, ships. And one more quick substitution. Schneider back in. Three fifty left in the third quarter. Tyler South Zietz in the game. He's played about a minute and a half. Yeah, he hasn't seen a lot of minutes so far. Sam Selk. Trying to clear space, gets a layup attempt, blocked. Tell you, Sam's not afraid to shoot. He's 0 for 5 on the night. I gotta like those kind of guys, not <laughs> afraid to shoot. <laughs> you know what you really wish though? Is they wouldn't be afraid to make. <laughs> In a lot of shooters, we need some makers. Zietz. Hard down the lane. Actually, pretty good defense that time by Kavanaugh. But he's going to get called for the foul. Pitch will uh, toss it in. Look for him to get the pass back for a shot. Uh, not a good feed that time. Reclitis hit it out. Not enough space, Chris. All of a sudden, the scoring has slowed down. Again. <laughs> yeah, really. Wow. We're only going to score in even quarters. Well, Mantwalk, I don't remember the last time they got a point. I mean, they, they scored. They, they're stuck on 14 for this cold quarter and they were stuck on 14 towards the end of the last yeah, quarter. It's probably been point. about eight minutes. Schmidt all over that uh, South High or Manitowoc player. Freshman mistake there. Hold the ball, hold the ball, hold the ball. And while you're holding the ball, the defense is rotating and South did a nice job there. I can draw a parallel, Chris. It's like the Bear offense last night against a really poor defense in, in the Cowboys. And uh, South's defense maybe looks a little better than it is because Manitowoc has uh, very little offensive weapons. Yep. And another turnover by the ships. Bet the over on, not that I have whatever, Packer-Dallas game because those teams... Look for uh, Eddie Lacy to have a big game. Both those teams' defense struggles. Look at oh, this. Oh, boy. It's parting of the Red Sea. Zietz dribbles it right in for an easy two. Oh, you got to like that. South finally on the board again. 
Cavanaugh's three-point attempt is off, but Schneider with the rebound. Pretty good defense by South. Recolitis got <laughs> faked out, but he still gets the block. Where's good hustle, Jared. Yeah, but where's that young man going? Schneider with a two-pointer. First basket in about 10 minutes. Tristan Schmidt gets called for an offensive foul. Tough break there for uh, Tristan. Looked like he had a pretty nice drive to the hoop. Cole's coming back in. Derek Rohr out for uh, Manitowoc. Well, pretty nice two-man game to break the press that time. Kavanaugh being hounded by uh, Selk. Good nice. defense. Schneider with a three. Get a man on him. He has eight points. Seats to Slimmer, good help by Schneider underneath to keep the uh, lob pass into Reclitis. Slimmer couldn't get it to go, but he is fouled by Ullman and that's gonna be his third. Slimmer will be shooting three free throws, Chris. Uh, you know my comment, Marty, I've said it a hundred million times we've been together. Never foul a jump shooter. How can you foul a guy way out there? Slimmer had a three-point basket uh, back in the first half. It happened in the second quarter, and uh, that was point number four for him. His drought in scoring was almost as long as Manitowoc's. But we're talking a whole team of players versus one guy who's also been on the bench for a while. There's a good shot of Parker. Four new Red Wings coming into the game. Harrison, one of them, Amundsen. Tetchlog back in there. Yep. Well, Slimmer couldn't get the pitch, last one in. Yep, pitch couldn't get in the game. Well, so you think he missed it on purpose? I'm not <laughs> exactly saying that. Good help defense by uh, Harrison. Kavanaugh not doing much, being guarded by uh, Slimmer. Schneider forces the action and he gets fouled. Foul goes on Zietz. His third foul. Schneider has all the points in the quarter, Marty. Yeah, he's been a, I wouldn't exactly say he's been a scoring machine, but uh, as far as Manitowoc, he has been. He's got nine points also. Pitch back in the game. Schneider looks like a keeper, Chris. Well, we're gonna be announcing his name for a few years. A few years. 29-21, south on top. Rolling down to the 22nd mark of the end of the third. Slimmer with a good spin move and then he didn't continue to the basket. Harrison, pull up in the lane, his shot is up and in. And that's the end of the quarter. Nice shot by uh, Connor Harrison. And at the end of three, south up 31 to 21.
best compliment I ever get is when someone says to me, you had breast cancer? You look at your chest, did you have operations? I said, yeah, I had bilateral mastectomy and reconstruction. That's the best compliment. Women who are told about their breast reconstruction options report feeling in control and experiencing a higher quality of life after cancer. Before you undergo surgery for breast cancer, get the facts. Make sure you know your breast reconstruction options. For more information, visit BroadAyUSA.org. There you see Coach Mike Rank talking to the troops. I was just going through some of the scoring here in the second quarter. South had eight points, Manitowoc only seven, and uh, Chris had mentioned it earlier, but uh, Schneider, their uh, good-looking freshman, had all the points. He had seven, and uh, he's sitting with 10, and uh, he and Tristan Schmidt of South lead, uh, have game honors for the scoring at 10 each. Manitowoc will uh, toss it in to uh, start the quarter. I wonder if Julian Tetchlog that won the gift card is any relation to uh, Eric Tetchlog. And we're off and running in fourth quarter action. Manitowoc down 10. But uh, the way points have been scored in this ball game, uh, 10 seems like a good 15 or 16 points. Kavanaugh from outside the line on a catch and shoot couldn't get it in. Harrison with the rebound. Amundsen on a feed inside to Reclitis, but uh, he gets fouled. Both teams shooting 23%. Ooh, it's picked up. Difference in the game is the uh, free throws and the three pointers. Mantwalk only has one, they're one of seven. South, on the other hand, has three of them. And the free throw line. Both teams have made the same amount of baskets. It's just basically, but uh, yeah. South with eight baskets and Mantwalk with seven. Reclitis has made four out of five free throws, Chris. He's been pretty good at that tonight. It's 32 to 21. South uh, back up to their largest lead at 11. Little backdoor cut, but the pass goes out of bounds. David Latour was the intended receiver, but he couldn't come up with it. Manitowoc pulling out the press, and then we get a hard foul on Schneider. What was that all about? Holy cow. And Mike Rank's gonna call a timeout right away to set up his press breaker. Boy, oh boy, that just made me, did you see that? He just came over and hacked him <laughs> right over the top. It's like he was mad at Amundsen. He said, I'm gonna get you back. I was counting turnovers. That's 15 turnovers for Manitowoc. Yeah, that's way too many. You know, and I can see that's gonna be an ongoing problem for him. Well, South has 10. They gotta clean things up too. Yeah, well, if they sit at the end of the game with only 10, I would say that's a pretty good night, or even now well, 12 is getting up there, I guess, but you're right. They've gotten better, though. They had a pretty bad first quarter, if I'm... Uh, five, yep. Five, okay. So half of them in one quarter, and then they played a half of basketball, the second and third, and only had five total. Huh. 
We're still wondering what's going on here. Yeah, we know it's on Schneider. Yeah. Schneider knows it was on Schneider too because he hacked them pretty good. I just don't think Mantwalk has the quickness to stay with Sheboygan South here. And he walks. Pitch on a nice pass to a Recolitis whose shot was blocked by Schneider. That freshman is uh, getting involved in the action, that's for sure. Recolitis one of seven now, Marty. Latour coming off the double screen, but uh, McLaughlin fought through, not allowing the shot. Another backdoor cut. Cavanaugh that time makes the connection and makes an easy layup. Amundsen. And he got it over to Reclitus, who tried to feed McLaughlin, cutting to the basket, and threw it out of bounds. Tristan Schmidt, Parker Slimmer, both coming back in. <laughs> Somehow that doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Manitowoc down nine. Mantwalk hasn't even put nine points in a quarter yet, have they? What was their first quarter, eight? Yeah. And now they're supposed to come back and get nine at the trail by. I think it's going to be tough for them. Good pump fake, and then they try to get a pass into uh, Braun, who couldn't come up with it. Kavanaugh with a three. Get on that, boy. Reclitis. Shot is not even close. Tries to muscle it up, and then we get a whistle. Fears is going to get called for the foul. Well, Jared's just one of eight, but like you said, he's four or five from the free throw line, and he does have eight rebounds. He's done a good job inside of getting some loose balls and picking up some offensive rebounds, but... Uh, his uh, field goal shooting has been lacking. He has seven points. Zietz back in the game for the Red Wings. Making his free throws though. Yeah, he looks pretty smooth. 1-3-1. One, one. I think a good choice. Shot is up and in by Schneider. A two-pointer. Had a foot on the line. Mantwalk three of four shooting in the quarter, but they still trail by six. Crawling, they're getting a little closer. Oh wow, what was that call? They're That's gonna get Slimmer foul. on a block. Yep. yep. Parker Slimmer, blocking foul. For Parker, that's only his first foul. And uh, the s fourth team foul on uh, South. Kavanaugh, shuffle the feet. Could see it. No shot attempt. South will get it back. It's 34 28. South on top. 5 14 left in the ball game. Manitowoc trying to make it more interesting, but uh, they are having trouble scoring baskets like they have all year. Slimmer being guarded by Kavanaugh. South is in the bonus, so she should try to attack the basket. Schmidt has it, being guarded by Braun. Amundsen takes a shot, can't get it in. Reclitis, offensive rebound, puts it back up and in. 
Big hoop, puts it back up to eight. Good swing, Schneider's shot is no good. Zietz got it and kicked it out to uh, Parker Slimmer. Zietz hard to the basket, inside direct light is who lays it up and in. Good teamwork that time and all of a sudden it's a 10 point Red Wing lead. Timeout by the ships. Thirty-second timeout, carry, so we better keep it here. Good teamwork, Chris. Chris isn't talking to me, but that's okay. I'll talk to you guys out there in TV land. Just thinking. We should check the quarter scoring. Manitowoc this quarter has uh, seven points. Reclitis has all the points for uh, South. They've got uh, seven also. So we're standing or sitting right where we were at the beginning of the quarter, just a few more points a ahead on the scoreboard. Still a seven, 10 point advantage. Well, Manitowoc got it down to six and had a possession, but uh, weren't able to draw any closer. Look like uh, South is in a 1-2-2 two, two zone. Boy, oh boy. Kick. Oh, I'm just wondering what Ullman's, you know, trying to do. He's dribbling off to his left. Then he's going to throw the ball back to the right. It goes down to his feet, and that big guy's supposed to just all of a sudden pick it up and do something. Correct. Exactly what <laughs> Good you said. Good analysis, Chris. <laughs> well, you're exactly right. What's he going to do with it? Just a poor, poor choice on his part. And now a lot of that, a man. yeah, a lot of that all goes down to ball handling. Allman with Blank. a good fake and got the shot off, but uh, not even close. He's one of eight. Yeah, it's Allman. been a tough night. Tough night for the ships was their leading scorer. Good back cut by Slimmer. His layup comes up short. Schneider with another rebound, Chris. He's got four, the freshman from Manitowoc. Skip pass to Cavanaugh who shifts it over to Schneider and then he tries to force it in to Coles and we get a whistle. Tristan Schmidt picks up the foul. That's his third. Braun has it. South continuing to play good defense, not allowing Manitowoc many shots. Schneider on a backdoor cut, got a nice feed from Coles for an easy two. Zietz not forcing the action, did a good job of kicking it back out. Schmidt driving hard to the basket, scores another two points for him. His first of the second half, Marty, with two and right. a half yeah. in the fourth. His first shot attempt, mind you. I would say that he definitely sparked the uh, Red yep. Wing rally in that key second quarter. Ullman from outside the line can't get it to go. And then a good tap by Sam. Selk, Slimmer gets uh, called for the walk. That was a good call. But uh, Sam Selk doing a good job of keeping the ball alive. Pitch and Amundsen coming back in for the Red Wings. Rolling down to the two minute mark, uh, Manitowoc down 10 and they're uh, not getting enough shots off. Kavanaugh got hacked on the shot, he made it, no call. 
That young man has uh, had a nice second half, nice fourth quarter actually with eight points, two three-pointers among those eight. And Schmidt commits a foul. That's a silly one, Chris. Well, I think he felt that he was fouled on this end, so he's going to participate and reach in and get back. And uh, the officials did not see it that way. Did you ever hear that saying, they always catch the second guy? That's a six foul on South. On the next foul, Manitowoc will be shooting, but there's only 141 left in the ball game. Only a seven point game, a three pointer here would really make it interesting. Somebody get on Kavanaugh. That job right now is for TJ Pitch. He's got that wide arm span there, that should help. Kavanaugh, left handed hook shot is no good. Reclitis with the strong rebound. South on the break. Jared and with a double double, Marty. 12 points, 10 rebounds. Good for him. And Schneider comes out and falls Amundsen. Got to stop the clock, 1.10 left. Boy, they got him for four. Carter's first free throw is dead on. That for Carter is his first point of the night, Chris. Seen quite a bit of playing action. I don't think they count on Carter for a lot of points. He's basically the uh, smart guy on the floor, does the little things, yep. plays defense. Well, we talked about that last year, I can remember. Couldn't get that second one to go. And a steal, no, almost. One minute left. Don't foul. All the goals. Schneider looking for some opening, couldn't find it. Three point attempt is no good. By Manitowoc's Latour. And then Manitowoc steals it back and we're gonna get a foul on uh, Schultz, Joel's. Allman at the line to shoot some free throws. And go downstairs, Marty, but this wasn't in, isn't in the bank yet. Nope, missed a free throw too on the one and one. And a quick foul, that's gonna be on uh, Schneider, I think that's gonna be his fifth. Right. Well, now they got him for four. Hmm. Interesting. Harrison looking for his first points of the night. Can't get it. Hey, just heard from the Wagner house. They're watching the game. Well, Greg and Kelly. Ullman. Shot is blocked out of bounds. Manitowoc will keep it with 32 seconds left. Chris is going to go down and get an interview for us. Inside feed. Cole's shot is no good. Amundsen gets the loose ball. And a quick foul by Kavanaugh. We'll put pitch at the line. Pitch will be at the line shooting a pair. Nothing but the bottom of the net. That's point number seven for uh, Pitch tonight. TJ looking for number eight. Rims out. 
Been one of those nights for both teams. South especially. Schneider from way downtown nails a three and a quick timeout by uh, Manitowoc. Oh, 15 points for Schneider. He has looked really good tonight. Forty-two thirty-six north south on top with thirteen point seven seconds left. All South has to do is catch the ball and make a free throw or two, and they've got this one in the bank right now. There's uh, still a bit of doubt. Jared Reclitus has twelve points for the South side. We mentioned Schneider with fifteen. Tristan Schmidt has uh, 12 points also, so pretty good balance scoring. TJ Pitch has seven. So uh, South also with some uh, good balance. Pitch has it and then he gets fouled. Who are they gonna get? We're gonna call it on Almond. And that's his fifth. Pitch will be at the line shooting a pair. Kavanaugh and Latour coming in. They're gonna make Latour wait until uh, Pitt shoots the second free throw. Pitch, uh, has one more coming, and I think we got everybody set up the way we want. Attempt that second free throw. And pitch nails a pair. Kavanaugh taking it hard to the basket. Rams right into the uh, south player, and he's gonna pick up the foul. Should have pulled up for the short jumper. 6.1 seconds left. Full timeout by South. It's the game that won't end. Get ready to be amazed when you visit Making Spirits Bright at Evergreen Park in Sheboygan. The Icicle Tunnel, Dancing Forest, and Racing Arches are just a taste of what is waiting for you. Making Spirits Bright is open November 29th through December 28th, except Christmas Eve, from 5 to 9 p.m. each night. Make sure to also visit Funland in the Quarry View Center for refreshments, a visit with Santa, and more. Admission is free, and food pantry donations are appreciated. Back at South High School, uh, Mike Rank talking to the troops, trying to get away with a victory. They should do it. They're up eight. There's only 6.1 seconds left, and South will have the possession. Not the prettiest basketball tonight, but uh, effective enough for uh, South to come away with a win. And uh, we always like it when the home team wins. Our next basketball game is gonna be uh, a week from Saturday when we have the North-South game. And uh, that'll be at North. Another foul on Manitowoc. Beers picks up the foul. Slimmer will be at the line shooting a pair. Parker's got five points tonight. Looking to add to that total. So 
see if he can make a two in a row. Oop, that should have been a violation. Manitowoc will get it, 2.9 seconds. Kavanaugh and Manitowoc can't get the shot off in time. South comes away with the win, Hi, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Nicole Malakowski, a U.S. Air Force Fighter Squadron Commander and the first woman pilot with the United States Air Force Aerial Demonstration Team. My fellow airmen and I know that each of us plays a huge part in our victories, whether in the air or on the ground. We couldn't accomplish our mission without using everyone's skills to reach our goals. Embracing our differences and working together is also what has made America strong. Thank you for your support, and remember, our strength lies in our diversity. This message brought to you by the United States Air Force. Do your stuff. Okay, people, you know the drill. Can't boots only, guys. You're not your seat. Sometimes you gotta live what you believe up in your arms. Cause that's where it's from. Right here with you and with me. But no world needs love. Is love. Generosity. Pass it on. A little from up above. To me. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Take 10 seconds to imagine the face of your best friend, your coworker, your classmate, your hero, the face of a veteran, a senior on a fixed income. Now, I want you to imagine them without a home. More than two million people in America rely on public housing to provide a home for their families, and there are at least a half a million waiting for a safe place to live. I'm Jewel, and I'd like you to join me and rethink how public housing is supporting your community. Back at South High School, Chris Wright standing by with uh, two of the South High players. Take it away, Chris. Back here with two of Victoria's uh, Red Wings. Jared, we'll start with you. Double-double tonight. Uh, not just yourself with the big rebounds, but one of the things I noticed, you really kept them off the offensive glass. I think they only had like two or three offensive rebounds. I don't know if that's what your coaching staff is trying to do, but great job on the glass by the big boys. Yeah, we, uh, we had an emphasis on rebounding this week, and we really wanted to keep them off the boards and just limit them as many uh, offensive rebounds as possible or as little, and yeah, just uh, dominate the boards. Who works with you with the uh, big guys and stuff like that? Do you have any particular coach? Maybe that Coach Schwartz or something who was... <laughs> Did a little bit of rebounding at Lakeland in here. Yeah, Coach Schwartz, he's been helping out a lot. He's been doing great. I like him a lot. He's really uh, helped our team. I see you guys play a lot of guys, and a lot of guys get in, a lot of flow and things with different people, and get a lot of contributors to help on this team. Yeah, yeah, I know. We've got a deep team, and it's, it's good to have a lot of guards in there that can handle the ball and really pressure the defense. It helps a lot down the road. It's nice to get a win, too, at home. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. A little crowd here and things like that. And, Cold outside, but it's nice to see a big victory. Yeah, definitely. It's good to get our first conference victory right away. First home game of the season. Feels good. Well, congratulations. You can stay here. Carter, change of coaching, change of stuff here, little trying some different things like that. How's the, the guys been going with that? Uh, you know, it's been really good. We got a really tight knit group here. You know, uh, we're all really good friends. Uh, we work together well. We like playing together. So I think our team chemistry really uh, helps us out on the floor as well as off. And the coaching staff changing some of the things that's been going on, that's been going okay? Yeah, uh, the transition has definitely been smooth. Everything's been good. Yeah, I saw that you guys are coming in from the other side and you guys got new uniforms and things like that. It's kind of like just to turn the page and things. Coach Schultz did a nice job, but just start, trying to basically start a new chapter here? Uh, yeah, definitely. We're trying to um, get some traditions started here at South and hopefully uh, pass those traditions down. Well, one thing I think Coach Rank is definitely stressing is defense. I mean, you guys just smother to the ball, and that's, you know, baskets weren't going in, but defense is going to win some games. Yeah, I mean, we work a lot on defense in practice, and on a night like tonight when uh, we weren't necessarily finishing or hitting all our shots, it really helped out. We were able to play good D and uh, grind out a W. And you guys are pretty quick, too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's another uh, 
um, attribute to our depth. We got a lot of guys, a lot of fresh legs. It helps. We can go in and get everything we got and then get a rest and repeat. Jared, too quick? Oh, definitely, definitely. You think he'll steal a base this spring? Mm. We'll see about that one. <laughs> well, congratulations to both you guys. We'll see you in about 10 days with the big North-South game. With that, we're going to send it back to Marty. Let's go through some of the scoring for tonight's ball game. T.J. Schneider, the uh, good-looking freshman for Manitowoc, led all scorers with 15 points. Andy Cavanaugh had a real nice fourth quarter, chipped in with eight. For us south, we're going to go right down the line. Pitch had nine, Tyler Zietz two, Parker Slimmer, a nice game off the bench with six, Connor Harrison two, Sam Selk one, Tristan Schmidt had ten points in a key second quarter when south uh, made a run, passed up Manitowoc, got a lead that they never relinquished in the second half. He had 12, Carter Amundsen one, Jared Recolitis 12, and uh, that rounds out the uh, 45, 45 points for uh, South. Our next ball game is going to be on uh, Saturday, December 21st, when uh, South travels to the north side, going over to the dark side to play Manitowoc. They're going to have to cross that 8th Street Bridge. We look forward to bringing you that ball game. The first game will start at 6 with the uh, girls, and then the boys will follow that. So we look forward to bringing that to you. Uh, one more time, South the winner, 45-6. to six. For the crew and my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road. The environment is my passion. Every day, I live for the outdoors and all of its challenges. That's why I enlisted in the Coast Guard. Now, I serve to protect the environment and defend my country. It's like I was born for this. Were you born ready for a greater challenge? Find out at GoCoastGuard.com.